know what that means. We're going to have a special guest. So get out the broom, sweep the place clean, and dust off the mat so the welcome can be seen. I roll out the carpet, strike up the band, and give out with a hip hooray. Hip hooray! Wiggle your ears. Cactus, 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 voicemails I mean this is I'm I'm broadcasting on Madhouse live and the phone losers radio whatever you call it these days it's not cacti radio I haven't figured out what the new thing is called yet but I have these wacky voicemails um here let's see where did this go okay like you all remember the cardings thing like here's one I got a couple days ago three days ago and this is what comes in on this voicemail all the time now. I usually delete them, but I saved a few this time. So, here, listen, listen to this. This is really um, real. Yeah. Uh, so this car thing, uh, my insurance just got back, and there was something under my hood. Like my brakes were like screwed up, and I'm not sure if this is just supposed to be funny, but he sounds not cool. nine. My daughter drives this car now. My daughter. And um, I do have this number. I know where it came from. And I did watch your videos. I've seen you. I don't know if it was you. But I'm looking you up, and you have a severe talk with the police. And thank you. Bye. Yep. That one had me scared for days. I don't know. Like He sounds like he's nine. I don't know how, why he... Like, how can he possibly think that sounds realistic? Hey, Roy. Um, I watched your video. Bye. <laughs> Thanks. So I'm tempted to call that first guy back, though, and just... I, I'm sure he's at school right now. I mean, it, it it's, yeah, middle of the day. It's the Wacky Morning Show. Can't... Dumbass. <laughs> Dumbass. Oh, I've had a few angry um, texts come in on this thing, um... Like, here's one that calls me a bitch. Here's, uh, 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 oh, actually, the rest of them are just, oh, yeah, here's one. Thanks for the note. Where did you hit my car, Amy? And, I mean, that was, like, a couple months ago. I'm sure she's figured out by now it's a joke. But, um, yeah, let me play a couple more of these. Yeah, this is, uh, Jimmy Dinks from, uh, Bridge Thomas, uh, I wonder if you want some, uh... Yep, that was the end. Hey, Roy, or Brad, or whatever the hell your name is. Just a random phone, you know? Yeah, I don't care about that one. Yeah, really, I should have gone through these first and seen what was worth playing on the air. There's one that's empty. Let's see, this is a long one. Let's see what this is. Well, he probably had somebody... He had a... A deal set up where people were leaving notes and leaving his number on there. And so, is this people. really his number, though? Probably not. Probably, yeah. That's a number that he has is used. I don't know if it's his. Do you think it's only... that he's bad? I kind of want to call them right now. That was weird. I'm going to play that one one more time. No, he probably had somebody, he had a, a deal set up where a people deal? were leaving notes and leaving his number on there. And so, is this people. really his number, though? Probably not. Probably, yeah. It's a number that he has is used. I don't know if it's his. Do you think it's only. that he's bad? They sound so confused. I really want to just call them right now, but I don't know. I don't know what I'd say to him. 
I mean, they obviously know it's a joke by now. Those people are calling from Missouri. Man, the chat room is dead lately. Like, Sloth got a job. I think Ice Goose got a job. We need new people in the Madhouse chat room. So if you're a listener, if you're listening to this, at some point you should go to madhouselive.com slash chat. Hang out in the chat room all day. Because it's boring in there now. Everyone's gone. It's it's. There's been like... Um, it's just me and Dark Stranger right now. Dark Stranger doesn't even know I'm on the air. I didn't tell anyone I'm coming on the air. I don't even know if I'm going to do calls. I should do calls. I should do at least one call. I do have one call, uh, which is something that Dark Stranger sent me. Uh, I don't think she knows I'm going to call it, so hopefully she doesn't mind. But maybe I should get to that. Let's Let's make a call here real quick. Okay, so... She sent me... Actually, let me let me start this out with something else. Hold on. Uh, how would I find this? Okay, let me figure something out. I'm going to play some music here real quick. And by the time the song's over, I should be able to have something ready here to call. But I want to find an email that I received last year. So, be right back. Let's start the damn session. 94 rows, I'm addressing. Know that it's yours and yours, no second guessing. Confessing that I'm real close to the edge. And it's the beats that I serve and the words that I play. Get crazy. Every man, boy, woman, or lady. It's a short shot. We don't produce this persona. Bright array of colors, like chronic aroma. Alright. Okay. I found it. I think I found it. Okay, so this is a letter. Uh, let me turn on my headphones. This is a letter I received uh, in December of 2000. Uh, actually, I don't know when it was. It was sometime in 2011. I was selling uh, t-shirts uh, for phone losers, and the t-shirts had the Harley, you know, it was a logo very similar to the Harley Davidson logo. You know, it was a spoof, parody logo. But, you know, the words were all changed, so obviously it's not really their logo. Dear Mr. Carter, we recently learned that you you are using our bar and shield design trademark in connection with your website, Phone Losers of America. Specifically, you're selling t-shirts and buttons bearing unauthorized reproductions of our bar and shield design with the words, yeah, blah, blah, blah. We own it, blah, blah, blah. We've been using our bar and shield trademark in our business for 100 years. It's become a famous, instantly recognized symbol of our company and our products. She just goes on and on and on. Um, your use of our trademarks in the above described manner is likely to cause confusion, mistake, or deception in the marketplace, in that consumers are likely to believe that your business and or goods and services are somehow affiliated with, sponsored, or authorized by Harley Davidson when this is not the case. Your actions are also likely to dilute the distinctive character. Yeah, it just goes on and on. It's like five paragraphs long. Uh, it ends with, therefore, we must insist that you immediately stop all use of our bar and shield design trademark. Uh, we require your written assurances that you will refrain from these activities and any, any other conduct. Uh, we must also require a complete accounting of your remaining inventory and the identity of your supplier. And so I told her, I'm, I'm like, yeah, I just print these in my garage, you know, one at a time whenever someone orders them. So they're not, I don't have a supplier. I lied. <laughs> and I told my supplier, I'm like, uh, you can go ahead and destroy those screens. I don't think I'm going to print any more of those shirts. But anyway, that leads me to what Dark Stranger showed me um, last week. Uh, she, In her neighborhood, there's this truck. And it's called LCEC Excavating Limited. It's a, you know, it's a big red truck. And it's a business. But they are using... Like not even a not even a sort of logo. It's it's the Harley Davidson logo. It's very obvious. Only he uh, he did exactly what I did. He changed the words. It says L C E C Excavating Limited, where it should say Harley Davidson Motorcycles. 
and his phone numbers on the truck for hire compact excavator compact backhoe rentals so i think he needs to uh be informed of his trademark infringements and of course after all that he's not going to answer what a dick has been forwarded to an automatic voice messaging system. Wade Crane. Is not a... Wade Crane? All right. Everyone listening, prepare to hear, like, just phone ringing for the next five minutes, because I'm not going to give up on this. I'm going to keep calling until he picks up. If I get through to this... Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice... If I get through to this, I will post a picture of this truck that uh, Dark Stranger sent me. But, I don't know. If I don't get through to it, maybe I'll call it later off the air and I'll just drop it into this. Hello. Oh, hello. This is uh, Roy um, Jerbel. I'm calling from the legal department at Harley-Davidson Motorcycles. I, I was sent a yes. picture of, of your truck where you're uh, infringing on our copyrights by using our logo on your truck. Okay. And we were going to have to insist that you uh, have that removed. And what's your name? Uh, my name is Roy Gerbel. Roy Gerbel. Uh-huh. So, so uh, someone complained or something? Or? Uh, someone sent us a picture of it, and, you know, it's it's uh, we've, we've had a trademark for about 100 years now. I know. And so, uh, now, I have... Uh, um, Harley Davidson, because um, I, I ride, I ride, uh, you know, uh, I have two more uh, Harleys, a uh, Road King and a, and a Dyna, and I have uh -huh. Harley Davidson symbols tattooed on my uh, arms. So do I have to cut my arms off too? Or? Um, no, don't be ridiculous. No, Cause, uh, uh, no, I'm back. just saying. I, I'm just saying, like, uh, you know, uh, you're, you're using. Uh, I'm, a your lo I'm a lover. I'm a lover of the brand, the motorcycle, you know, and. Uh, you know, yeah. I, I, everything I own got Harley Davidson written on it, right? You know, my, if I was to switch to another brand, I, I could never afford it because I, I'd have to get an all, all new wardrobe. Basically, because of your yeah. attitude, I'm, I'm, I, I am, uh, I have, you know, authorization. I'm not, no, no, I, I'm not, I, I'm not the, the, no, giving you attitude. I'm just asking you a question. We're going to confiscate your truck. We're going to send someone out there tomorrow, and they're going to take your truck. I'm not, I'm not giving you attitude, sir. I'm just basically just saying, no, I mean, you know. Uh, if no, I'm not getting, listen, asking if, you're not if, if I want you to cut your arms off. That's not attitude. No, I'm just I'm basically saying that I, I like I wear my uh, I guess motions on on my sleeve when it comes to the Harley Davidson brand. That's all. Yeah, uh, listen, I got no issue taking off the logos out the truck, but that's uh, not a, not an issue whatsoever. We're, we're gonna we're gonna confiscate your truck. Your truck is no longer owned by you. We're taking it. I'm sending someone out there this afternoon. Oh, very good. We're going to take your truck, so when you get out there and your truck's gone, you'll know why. Oh, I see. Very good, and, 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 and since we own your truck now, I'm, we're going to throw rocks through the windows, because it's basically ours. We can do what we want with it. Right on. We're going to break the All windows. All right. Then we'll... I'm going to take a baseball bat after I have your yep. truck in my possession and just go crazy on it. Oh, so I don't even have to bother taking the logos off anymore. No, no, you can just leave them on there because we're going to take the truck. Oh, I see. Yeah. And, and, and good luck with that. Now, because I, I guess uh, I I also work uh, in the law enforcement, so I guess. Uh, oh yeah, um, sure you do. Yeah, I believe that. I beg you your pardon. I beg you're, your you're, you're an excavator slash police officer, huh? No, I never said I was a police officer. I said I work in law enforcement. When I have your truck, I'm going to like take a sharpie and I'm going to mark off all your LCEC stuff and I'm going to replace it with Harley Davidson. With the sharpie. Oh, very good. I'm gonna use an orange sharpie. Yeah. All right then. It'll look so much better. Uh, and uh, and uh, what did you say your name was again? Oh no, I already told you my name twice. I'm not telling you again. Come on, you need to learn to listen. Okay. Oh. Uh, but you know, I'll just because you, uh, you ride tell you, a motorcycle, I'll tell you what now you can do. You go to fuck now, okay? I can go to where? Forwarded to an automatic voice messaging system. Wait. Is not available.
At the tone, please record your message. To leave a callback number, press 5. Hi, Wade. It's Roy Gerbel calling from the Harley Davidson legal team again. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that I'm not really with Harley. I'm just a prank caller. I just saw your truck out on the road and I thought, wow, wouldn't it be hilarious to prank call that guy and tell him tell him tell him I'm with Harley. So uh, tee hee, just a prank. Don't go out there and rip your logo off the truck. It was just a joke. Obviously, I'm not going to take a baseball bat to your truck because I'm not from Harley, and only people from Harley would do something like that. So. Don't worry. I'm just merely a, a sociopath. I'm I'm not really with with Harley, but um, if I ever do need excavating, I promise I will use you. But I'll have my wife call because I don't want you to recognize my voice and start, you know, you know, lunge at me and start throwing your fists because that wouldn't be good. But tee hee, just a joke. Ha ha. Um, I'm sure you're very relieved now. So uh, I hope you haven't run outside and ripped the Harley logo off your truck. And I definitely hope you haven't cut your arms off because that would be, I don't know, I'd feel kind of bad if you cut your arms off. Don't cut your arms off, Wade. All right. Have a nice day and goodbye. And I love you. Smile with my face up a scene in your magazine Like a star off the way of all par Or at the bar, have a drink going up for me Boys got it locked, here, pop, making superstars Remember when you was growing up? Broke your gorilla, put your Godzilla on the 13 All your friends used to rob the things Look up the liquor store and Burger King Get home to what's happening A weird ring. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice balls. message. Nine. One. Balls. Balls, balls, balls. Hello? Oh, hello. I'm calling for Shauna. Who is this speaking? Oh, my name is Carl. I'm calling from Walmart. I'm calling to do a reference check on a friend of yours that left you as a personal reference. Uh, for Aaron McNeil. Excuse me? I'm calling from Walmart. My name's Carl. Aaron oh, Mc... Hi, Carl. Hi. Aaron McNeil left you as a reference on her application. She's trying to get a job here at Walmart. Oh, Okay. And um, she said uh, that you know her, and I'm just calling to do a reference check. Oh yeah, she's a good, good girl. Oh okay, she is. And and um, yeah. she worked for you for three years then. Yeah. From March, March 2010 until the present. Yeah. Okay, great. And what kind of work does she do? Oh, I had her doing all kinds of different kind of work. Oh really? Like for example. Uh, house cleaning and yard cleaning. Yard. I mean, just... Oh, I mean, she said she was an accountant for your corporation. Well, that too, that too. Oh yeah, accountant too. Okay. Yeah. And uh, she lived. She lived. Uh, she was a renter from you. Uh, you were her landlord for five years then. Yeah. Really, five years. Uh, do you remember what date she left? No, I have to check my records on that. Oh, okay. You have to check your records. Th this is actually... Well, she, paid a, she paid a rent on time and everything. Oh, okay. How much was the rent there? I'm sorry, 350 to 450 350 to 450 Wow, okay. Because she wrote... A, that's weird. It's a, just crazy discrepancies here because she wrote that it was $900 a month. 
Huh. I don't know. I think she's not she's not being honest on this application. Maybe maybe I shouldn't hire her. No, she's a good worker. Oh, is she? Okay. Very friendly. Good piece of person. She's friendly? I don't know. Because I, I talked to her when she dropped off her application. She se seemed like sort of a bitch to me. Oh, my God. But see, that's another discrepancy. Like, you say she's friendly, and I think she's like a huge bitch. A raging bitch. Would be the... Oh, okay, she's gone. <laughs> It's crazy how people just lie like that. <laughs> just instantly. They don't even have to think about it. They're like, oh, yeah, <laughs> she worked for me. Your call has been forwarded. Oh, she's hitting the button. <laughs> Sending me straight to voicemail. Hello. Hey, Shauna, we got disconnected somehow. It's Carl again. Hi. Shauna? Yes. Hi. We got disconnected somehow. It's Carl again from Walmart. Well, this is a joke, so bye. Well, wait. I have a question. Aw. I was going to tell her I was lying. I was about to come clean with her, and she just hangs up on me. <sighs> what a jerk. All right. I think I have another one here. She posts a lot. But I guess everyone hates her because she does not have any friends liking or commenting on her posts. So... Her. How does she not have... What the hell? Like, she's got a billion posts on here. They look like completely normal posts. She just had emergency emergency surgery in January. She had a productive day in December. But nobody cares. This poor lady. I, I want to be friends with her. I'm going to add her as a friend. I'm going to start liking everything she does. Poor Sheila. Uh, let's see if I can just look at her friends people she's following she's following a couple people wow this lady's confusing yeah i guess i'll play some music and i will um try and find some more of these i'll do a few more reference checks what i really want to do what i've been wanting to do for a morning show is do the the Okay, so I've been doing these reference checks, fake reference checks. What I want to do is call, I, I want to call actual businesses because people, okay, wait, let me look. Sh this Sheila lady, uh, about Sheila. She currently works, okay, she's independent, never mind. But all these people, they always list their, um, their workplaces on Facebook and it's all public and we can see where they work. I'm trying to look up Shauna right now. Shauna, uh, her work makes no sense. I don't know. She's a Meritor. Oh, the company she works for is Meritor. But anyway, I want to call these companies and do reference checks on these people that actually work there. Uh, we did this to Polkja once. We called up a McDonald's that she worked at and said crazy things. Uh, Tristan. Tristan. Is that who it was? Yeah, yeah, he he got he uh he made the manager really uncomfortable with his questions. It was really funny. But I want to do that soon. That's a good thing to do in the daytime. So I need to do that. Maybe not today, but sometime soon. It'll be hilarious. Yeah, yeah. The silence is boring. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to play some uh, another song of some sort. And while that song's playing, hopefully I will find another reference check to do. I would like, uh, if I may, to take you on a strange
All right, I found another one. This lady's name is Kelly Jo. I love her her picture that she has on her Facebook. Um, man, I can't even think of the movie. Uh, she's oh, what the hell was it? It's this amazing Stephen King movie, the one where the 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 fan of the author traps him in the house. Her name is Annie. What in the hell was that? I, I hate myself for not knowing that because I've read that book like at least a dozen times. Okay, maybe not that much. I've seen the movie a bunch. Jackson Newspapers, this is Connie. Oh, hi. I'm calling for uh, Kelly Joe. Just a moment. This is Kelly. Oh, hi, Kelly. Uh, this is Carl from Walmart. Uh, mm -hmm. I was calling to do a reference check. Uh, someone left your name as a personal reference. It's for Missy Deverux. Devereaux. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Melissa Devereaux. Okay. Or Missy for short. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she um, left you as a personal reference check. Yep. In a, a business. She said she worked for you for about three years. Mm-hmm. Um, and... Uh, yeah, I mean, like, I, I don't know, would, would you recommend her as a, for an employment? Yes, I would, definitely. Okay, and what kind of work did she do for you? Um, a lot of this was uh, maybe some research of different things. Oh, okay, um, research yeah. of things. Yeah. And then um, she lived, uh, you were her landlord for a year and a half then? Uh, that wasn't me. Oh, she, it shows here that she was your landlord. I mean, you were her landlord. At the trailer, but not right now. At the trailer? She she lived in a trailer before that. Oh, the, like you? And she paid you rent then? Yeah. Oh, cause, uh, it doesn't say it was a trailer here. It says on Brookshire Court. Mm. Five-bedroom home. Me or her? Uh, her. She lived in a five-bedroom home that she rented from you for um, $2,300 a month. Hmm. That wasn't me. Oh, it wasn't? It was probably somebody else. Uh, it might have been uh, her mother-in-law. Sounds like she's a liar. Hmm. No. What a liar. She's not a liar. Well, well, she wrote it on the application here that you were her landlord. But that was back further. That wasn't the present. Oh, it was back further that... that she rented yeah. the five-bedroom house from you? No, that was Jan. Jan? She's not a liar, believe oh, me. It's just, this is so confusing. Exactly. I, so uh, you, you can kind of imagine why she would be confused, too. I think I'm going to bring her in for an interview, but then with no intention of hiring her, I'm just going to rip into her and, and, and just call why her. Why would you want to rip into her? Because she's such a liar on this application. I mean... Saying that she worked for you and then she's a landlord. It doesn't say she did any research either, like, as the type of work she did for you. Mm -hmm. She said it was more of a, I don't know, prostitution thing. Who are you? So this is just confusing. I'm so confused here. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. Who the hell are you, for one? Oh, my name's Carl. I'm calling from Walmart. Uh... Let me tell you a little something, something, honey. Okay. okay. All right. Before you start throwing around slander and everything else, you need to check yourself. You understand me? You need to freaking check yourself. Before I wreck myself? Check yourself. Before I wreck myself. And frankly, you're rude and you're smart ass, and well, I don't appreciate that. She's the one lying on her application here. I'm going to bring her in for a fake interview and just let her have you're about it. Stupid. You're about stupid. No, I'm not. You really are. That's not nice. Don't. I mean. That's not nice. You're the, sitting there calling her a prostitute. And that's what she wrote on the application. And that she's a prostitute. Yes. For you. You were a pimp. I mean, I'm just reading what it says in the application. It, it's not my fault that she wrote this. Well, I'm sorry. I don't think that she would ever put that on any kind of application. Well, you don't even remember that you were her landlord, so what does it matter what you think? No, not for the other house, and it's not that I don't remember, okay? 
Well, I'm going to tell you something. So I you think give you're me just, your man. You're give just, me your freaking manager. I'm the manager here give at Walmart. Your, what Walmart then, dear? And, hmm? Why are you make, making up lies for this lady? Excuse me. It's, I'm not making up lies for anything. It's illegal okay? to lie. It's not cool to sit there and call somebody for a reference and then sit there and talk behind their back like they're a piece of garbage cheese, okay? I'm definitely not Stand hiring back. her with your attitude. Stand back. Stand back. Stand Step back. down and shut the fuck Step up. Down. Okay, because okay. I'm not having you talking about her this way. You understand me? No. Could you explain? You don't understand me. Explain better. I'm com- completely you're a stupid, con- motherfucker. Okay, and you're right rude. And you're calling somebody you don't even know her, and you're sitting there calling her all this other shit. I'm, when for I, all I know, you're just sitting there making something up, or somebody else did it. When I bring her in for an interview, I'm going to tell her how much you cursed at me, and that's why I'm not hiring. I'm going to. Oh, bl- goody, goody. I'm going to blame Go it ahead. all on you. Go ahead. Do what you got to do, baby. She's going to she's gonna hate, do. She's Later, gonna hate dude. you. Bye. She's going to hate you so much. <laughs> that was fun. I think I'm going to take a break here and check myself. I need to check myself. Hi, is this Andrew? Speaking. Hi, this is Carl from Walmart. I'm, I was calling to do a reference check on uh, uh, yeah. uh, Brittany Reeves. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, so you know Brittany and everything? Oh, yeah. It's the weirdest thing. We, we had her in here for an interview just a few minutes ago, uh-huh. or, or an hour ago, and, and when she left, she shoplifted a bunch of things and then left. Really? Have you ever known her to shoplift before? No, not when I've been with her. Uh, Because the police went to the uh, address that she left with us, and um, it was a fake address. Do do you know, like, maybe what her address is so we can send someone to arrest Um, her? Actually, I'm at work right now. Uh Uh-huh. So um, let me see if I can get you her address. Is it just the number I can call you back on? Oh, sure, yeah. If you call me back at um, 832-629. Okay. That'd be great, because, yeah, we definitely need to arrest her. She she took about um, $75 worth of merchandise on her way out from the interview. Oh, wow. All right. Okay. Well, um, let me see if I can get that for you, and I'll give you a call back. Okay. Oh, but she's a good worker and everything. I mean, you've known her for a while. We still don't know if we're going to hire her. Yeah. Okay. Great. All right. Thank you All right. for the reference. All right. Bye. Goodbye. Wow, he was very agreeable. <laughs> What's he going to think of Brittany now? Hmm. All right, I think I'm bored of these reference checks. I'm going to quit doing those. I got some emails uh, here. I, I'm I'm so torn on this right now because I want to read this email from Eli. He's like, this guy, Jimmy somebody, made my life miserable for almost two years until I had to quit. He's an ex-military... Air Force who came to work with that better than, smarter than attitude. He had help screwing me over and I intend to get revenge on all involved. This is all caps, all italics, by the way, this email. A big thing in the Air Force is an airman's integrity and this guy left his in the service. Could you prank call this asshole questioning his integrity a few times? Alaska is where we live. The help would be appreciated. And, like, when I get these emails, I completely ignore them. Or I just write back. I'm like, you know, do your own dirty work. I, I'm not interested in in your crazy, crazy life. Uh, but now that I've read this, I sort of want to call it. But I don't know what to say to the guy. He says, question his integrity. I guess I'll question his integrity. That's all I'm going to do. I'm just <laughs> you have no integrity. 
I got this email months ago, and I've just been lazy about. Hello? Oh, hi, is this Jimmy? Yes. Hey, Jimmy, you don't have any integrity at all. None. Zero. Zero. Exactly. Who no, is this? no integrity. Who is this? It's Roy. <laughs> huh? It's Roy. Roy. Yes. And I'm just Roy here. Who? I'm here to tell you, you don't have any integrity, none at all. <laughs> Why are you say Roy? Who? Roy Gerbel. I don't. I don't even know who you are. Oh, I don't know you either. I mean, all I know is that you don't have any integrity. Okay. So take that, motherfucker. <laughs> he hung up on me. So there you go. I helped you. Um, I helped you get revenge on all involved. Uh, I hope you appreciate it, Eli. I don't ever do that. I, 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 I don't know. Like people come in the Madhouse chat room all the time, and they're they're they start posting phone numbers. They're like, "Oh, prank this asshole. He's such an asshole." They don't give us any backstory or anything. They just want us to to take care of things for them. I mean, you know, if you really want to make someone get a bunch of phone calls, set up a Craigslist ad for them. That's pretty easy to do. Uh, here's an email from Paul. Uh, he says he used a recording device to record a phone conversation he had with a customer service of a business that treated me poorly. Here's a, no, Okay. He lives in Maryland. It's a two-party state, and it was an 800 number. So I don't know where they were. They were amazingly cheap and off-putting, and I wanted people to hear them. I hate when businesses treat people poorly, and I might put up a blog and notice to Facebook to all my friends. But I wanted to know about linking to the recording. It's an MP3 file. So he's he wants to know if he should post this phone call that he recorded because of the whole... You know, there's laws, two-party states, and, um, you know, states that have to have permission of the person you record and states that don't require permission of the other person. And I don't know, there's, there's, um, yeah, I mean, I would just do it. I mean, who cares? Like, I, I, I never worry about those laws when I post phone calls up here. And, and area codes are meaningless. I mean, he says... He says it's Maryland, but the other people aren't in Maryland, I'm sure. And even if two-party states don't apply, then there's federal laws that could be used. And pretty much you're just screwed, whatever. Whatever you do. So who cares? Just do it. And also, they're, they're not just going to immediately sue you. They're going to contact you and say, hey, take this down or else. Do it. I should call somebody else. Oh wow, here's here's a guy. He looks hilarious. He's got stupid piercings and a crazy beard and a bandana. And his status is I need some help. Call my cell. He posted this on Facebook. Hi, Gregory. Who's this? It's Roy. Roy? Yeah, I'm calling to help you. I have a tent. Are you serious? Yes. Oh, my God, buddy. Yeah. Oh, dude, you're saving my life. I man. know. How am I going to get it to you, though? I live in Oregon. You live in Oregon? Yeah. Huh. I don't know. Maybe I can mail it. You can mail it, yeah. yeah. I mean, if I do it at UPS, it'll be there in nine days. You couldn't express mail it? Oh, fuck that. Dude, That's dude, expensive. I, dude, dude, I'll give you the money at the end of the month, because I'm going back to work, okay? Uh-huh. Like, I'm going back to work at the end of the month, dude. If you can express mail it, dude, I will fucking pay for it, dude. It's a I will wire you the money. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, it's a children's tent. Like, um, you know, it's only four, do it as a pit. four feet long. Okay, so what? That's what, like, legal? 
Huh? Maybe. What, it's like a two-man tent? No, no, it's like a children's tent. Like, not even two-man. You'd have to curl up in the fetal position to sleep in it. Okay. And it's got um, Hannah Montana on it. It's pink. <laughs> it's really, For real? It's really cute, yeah. Because <laughs> I'm just trying to get one to go fishing and everything. And, oh, yeah. You know. It smells all like that. it smells like cat piss. Our cat peed all over it. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, wow. And it's got holes all over the top of it. It caught on fire recently. Oh wow! <laughs> you don't have and, any other ones. Oh no, just that one, Hannah Montana. Okay. It, right. It's it's cute um, though, pink and purple. Pink and purple, huh? Yeah. <laughs> But, I mean, only four feet long, so you'd either have to curl up in it, or you'd have to have your feet sticking out. Alright. Well. You hate my tent, don't you? Huh? You hate my tent. No, no, I don't hate the tent, <laughs> you're just, no. You're just trying to be nice. Uh, you, really, you just hate the tent. Alright, well, if you want to send it, dude, you can. I mean, like I said, if you, if you express send it, dude, I will pay for it at the end of the month. You'll get the money right back. Maybe, like I, I will, I will wire you the money. Like that's no lie. Maybe I could just drive it out there. It'd only take me five days to drive out there. It'd only take you five days to drive out here. Yeah, I'm in Oregon. You know, to go over the mountains and stuff. Yeah. Could you pay for my gas? It'll be about 120 dollars. Oh, I don't have any money on me right now, there, brother. Well, Not I mean, like in the month, I, I, you could pay for me to get for the gas there, and I'll pay for the gas on the way back. See, I'm kind of broke right now. That's the only thing. When, when I get there, can we sleep in the tent together? Yeah. Okay. I, I want to be on top. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'll see you in four, four and a half days. I'm gonna All get. Right, dude. I'm, I'm gonna get on Google Maps and plot my route right now. All right, dude. Okay. That sounds good. I can't wait. I'm going to bring my fishing pole. All right, man. I'll see you soon. All right, bro. Okay, bye. Bye. Later. <laughs> I started feeling bad because he was so excited. <laughs> he was so excited about me having a tent for him. I, st I was thinking he was homeless or something. Wow, I've I've killed all the listeners on Madhouse. They, they, they're sick of me. I think... Maybe it's time for me to end this show. It, it was fun. I did some Facebook pranks. That was a lot of fun. Uh, wait, I know what I should do. Let's go to Michelle's Twitter account. I have not checked her Twitter account in over a day now. Uh, here, let me get something. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, yeah. This will be perfect. Okay, I'm going to read some of Michelle's tweets. And this is this seems like good music to do it to. Uh Michelle is a she's a Twitter user, and everyone needs to visit her Twitter cuz it's the most fascinating thing you will ever read in your life. This lady tweets a 100 times an hour, seriously. Every day, constantly while she's awake. So tweet number one, why can't anything go better right now? I hope it does. Oh, the White Stripes is playing Icky Thump. Cool song. I think I was, or still do am, shining bright, happy, pretty, for real. And they kind of freaked out. And I mean, I, what now? I'm okay. I never meet people like that anymore. I'm glad I'm personally okay for myself, for real. Ex-boyfriend did what my mom did. And all my dad did is dead, rip, and my grandma, and I'm going to live here. That's an exclamation point. Your mom, dude, hit the bottle and went right to the rock, and I had to give live at grandma house. Like President Obama, lol. Scary, though. I got to put something like this in my Twitter bio. What did girl do while well, what his face gone, lol. L-M-A-O. Duh. I need to get some money still. For real. Random access memories. Like computer RAM. 
read only memory of computers or garbage in garbage out what the no way she's not very angry i need to f let me let me go back i need to find angry stuff here's one no you cunt whore up north in santa barbara or nearby area you won't get money or love or be anonymous for that or this you fucking bitch Real people who come through for you are awesome. Ah, uh, no, that's 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 not angry. I need angry. Her faggot asshole hate doing psycho man guy on drugs did hate on me from a Santa Barbara independent profile. Fuck off for that. I not deleting this. You go, Matt Rat, you whore bitchy scary woman up north of here in Santa Barbara area. I'm not imaginary. I live in L.A., born here, and nothing to hide, for sure, duh, is fucking bitch of a woman up in the Santa Barbara area. Fuck off. Rest in peace, Will Gibson, to some bitch looking at Danny Rowe in New York photos. Fuck you, ho. You such a delusional, dangerous, hate-doing cunt, for sure. Don't fuck with me. I'm gonna go up to Santa Barbara again sometime. I do not care who played what song, when. Fuck off, Santa Barbara idiot up there. I born in LA, left Santa Barbara, going to Santa Barbara City College after SB High School in 1992. I could have stayed there, but I moved to LA. Oh wow, dude called me all tired and freaking out. I just woke up a nap. He going to call me when really wake up. I understand that. Be healthy. If I ever go up there again, and I will sometime, I had better not be flung that kind of stuff ever. I'm sure of that. That disgusting. I was from LA, born here, and moved there as a teen, and live in LA. North part, the S V the San Fernando Valley part to be factual right now. All right, that's enough of that. But yeah, everyone should subscribe to this lady on Twitter. It's bizarre stuff. It's uh, twitter.com slash and then her, her username is M one C H I L L E. M-1-C-H-I-L-L-E. Read that Twitter account. It's insane. Insane. Is Little Horse 70 miles north of here? I think they're stupid cunt brains. Lucky day. No is not, bitch. My good luck. Not from that dude. And this lady's like 42, by the way. She's... It, it's so weird. It's... It's just crazy. It doesn't make sense. I, I've been watching her Twitter for, for just for at least a month now, every day. Uh, over the weekend, I redesigned the Phone Losers website. Uh, it's not really my design. It's a WordPress theme, but, you know, I had to modify it a lot to get all my shit in it. But um, the cool thing about the redesign uh, is that... I, I redid the the menu bar along the top, and like I think I would say it's probably the most comprehensive menu that the website's had in a really long time, which is a good thing because the phone user site is just full of just just tons and tons of stuff, and it's hard to find it all. It's hard to make menus to to really I don't know. It's just like the content is just all over the place. It's hard to navigate. I guess you'd say. So um, yeah, look on the menu. You know, hover over menu option and there's like, I mean, not even all the pages are on there, but there's a lot of stuff on there and it's, it's a lot easier to find things now, which is good. There's so much freaking stuff in there. So go to phonelosers.org, go through the menus, find new things. Um, here, let me go on there real quick. Uh, phonelosers.org. Uh, like the others, other things option that that's like all the stuff that's not really phone losers like there's the mcdonald's sign prank uh there's a page of um pictures of huge phone bills 
uh, you know, people that have really run up their phone bills really high. Um, which, I don't know, that used to be really an amusing thing. It doesn't really matter anymore. Nobody cares about phone bills, but it's a nice little little thing from the 90s and early 2000s. Uh, there's comic strips for phone freaks. Our, our, our BFF Bookapoo has a comic in there of me and Roxy. I completely forgot he did that. Uh, there's the o OCI page, uh, OCI operators, PLA trading cards, payphone inserts. It, it's good stuff if you're obsessed with weird telephone things. And then there's a there's a games section like uh, a, like a, a year or two, I made this uh, game on Phone Losers called uh, Area Code Flashcards, which is the stupidest thing ever. I mean. Nobody cares about area codes. Uh, but that's under the others thing. And then there's other Flash games too. There's puzzles and crap. So, I don't know. There, I, I found a lot of stuff that I'd completely forgotten was on the website while I was doing all that this weekend. Uh, also, I set up a PLA Wikipedia page. It's uh, phonelosers.org slash wiki. And it's in the menu bar, I believe. Yeah, it's right there. So, um, if you feel like adding stuff to the wiki you're welcome to you just have to set up an account and you can add anything you want oh yeah telephone falls i'm not gonna finish that this week i said it was gonna be done by june 1st which is four days from now there's no way that's gonna happen i and it's not because it's too hard to do it's just i've been really lazy like i had all weekend this weekend to do nothing at all but work on telephone falls and Oh, sorry, I'm reading the chat room. Yeah, and I didn't do anything. I didn't do shit. I, I I just need to get to work on that. Maybe maybe I'll work on that a bunch this week. Maybe I'll get it almost done by the first. But I was telling Carlito, like, if I don't get Telephone Falls done by the first, I'll at least release a segment of it. You know, a, a little bit of a, like a teaser type thing. Because I do have sections of it done. Just not all of it. And I think after I get the first episode done, it'll after that it'll be easier to um, to get the episodes out. After that, because I've really a lot of it's just been learning software. I'm kind of I've kind of gotten all of it figured out. I think. Okay, I would like to to propose something here. I want people. Okay, so I, I was thinking I'm going to do these morning shows occasionally, like maybe once a week. And here's the thing. We all use, like, Ice Goose and Sloth and all these other people, Brent Westwood. We all use Carlito's stream and, and <laughs> chase all the users off of it. Because there was 30 when I started, and now there's 16. So sorry, listeners. I know yeah, this must be incredibly boring. But, um, I don't know. Carlito pays for it. I was trying to think of a way that we could... Like, I, I'd like to just send him, like, 5 or 10 bucks, you know, a month. But I don't want to pay for it. So is what I was thinking is if you people sent me like um, five bucks in PayPal. And for five dollars, I will do some sort of a shout out on the show or read an advertisement. Read like, you know, say your website name. Just do something like that. Like pretty much for five dollars, I'll say anything you want. I'll devote like a couple minutes to it. And it, like, you know, the, the live listeners will hear it and it'll go on the podcast feed and it'll exist there forever. So you're paying $5 for something to be on, on a feed forever or until I die and, you know, the websites all go away. But like, it wouldn't be money for me. And Carlito, like, I, you know, I, I asked him if I could do this and he said, sure. You know, Carlito doesn't seem to ever really want to be into the whole, you know, selling out and making money thing. But I think that'd be really cool. If you people want to um, send five bucks, I can assure you that I will forward that five dollars onto Carlito, and that'll help help pay for his uh, Shoutcast hosting. He just had to increase his uh, his his uh, numbers on Shoutcast. You know, he has like a hundred slots instead of seventy five because they keep maxing out the slots with their live shows. Not this one, of course, because I've got sixteen listeners. But I think this is a good idea. Maybe. I mean, it's worth a shot. So send five bucks, and you'll get some airtime, 
and Carlito gets his shoutcast paid for. I'm sure he pays at least 20 bucks a month for it. I think maybe he pays for an IRC server too. I'm not sure about that. And he pays for hosting for his website. So I will forward anything you can send me. And I don't want donations, not just payments for nothing. I want to do something in return. I want to say something on the air for you. So that's my idea for Carlito, to help Carlito out. If anyone thinks it's a horrible idea, let me know. And if anyone wants to PayPal me money, it's rbcp at phonelosers.org. Wow, my music changed. That's weird. I feel like I should do one more call before I leave. One more call. Let's let's scroll through here. This lady misplaced her cell phone. She runs Angie's Therapeutic Massage, so we're probably going to reach her landline or her business. Uh, nobody replies to her because she's a business. Ah, there's one. There's a like on one of her posts. Maybe it's one of her customers. That'll be hilarious. Four, two, one, four, no, three. no, no, no. Abby can't come to the. Yep, I think I'm done here. It's been fun. I'm, I'm, I'm woken up a little bit more now. You know, I haven't been up for very long. Just like 30 minutes before I started this. So I'm awake now. I can do things. Productive things that aren't calling people and harassing them. Let's see, what's a good song to leave on? Ooh, Kenny Loggins. How about Kenny Loggins? Nah, fuck that. Okay, everyone, see you next time. Imagine in your mind a posh country club. The stuffy old money where the poor get snubbed. The spread is bland, sauerkraut and boiled goose. There's no way these people will ever cut loose. But then I walk in the room, hold my boombox high. And what happened next will blow your mind. Everything got out of control. The music was so interesting. Everyone got